Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Ames, Senior Applications Engineer. And if you've been having difficulty keeping track of changes to your designs in SOLIDWORKS drawings, stay tuned. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of the revision table and revision symbols, which are exceptionally helpful for recording design changes made by you or anyone else on your design team, once you show them this video, of course. First things first, revision tables are absolutely not a substitution for SOLIDWORKS PDM or proper file management techniques which are essential to avoiding data loss and properly tracking design changes. For more information on proper SOLIDWORKS file management techniques, please see the overview video we've linked in the description below. With that being said, revision tables are excellent when used in tandem with PDM or before PDM has been implemented. Here I have a fairing design for a motorcycle headlight that I'm going to be making some changes to, and I also have a drawing ready to go for it. Before I make any changes, I'll establish a revision table in the drawing and record the current version as revision A. Then we'll make the changes and log revision B in the table and apply some revision symbols to help our viewers understand where the changes were made. To create a revision table, go to the Annotation tab in the Command Manager and select the Tables button. Then select Revision Table. In the Property Manager, you'll see right away that templates are supported like many other SOLIDWORKS table types. The Revision Symbol section provides control for the shape of the symbol that will be used to identify the changes associated with a particular revision, and if enabled, the checkbox below the symbols allows you to immediately begin adding these symbols once a revision has been added to the table. If your drawing sheet format includes zones, the revision table will indicate the zone in which each symbol is located to help find them quickly, and these zones will automatically update if the Auto Update checkbox is enabled. If you're unfamiliar with zones or if your drawing doesn't have them, make sure to check out our video on the Automatic Border tool, which we've also linked in the description below. Finally, adjust the border and layer options for the table if required, and then confirm. The table will appear attached to your cursor awaiting placement, or it may snap to a table anchor if applicable. Revision tables are often placed above the title block in a drawing, and are unique in that the table headers are often shown at the bottom of the table rather than the top. If you need to reverse the position of your headers, click the button at the top left of the table to access formatting options, then look for this little button to swap between the top and the bottom. To add a revision, look for the icon with the letter B on it. This may be at the top left or the bottom left of the table depending on the position of your headers. Our first revision represents the original design, so I'll simply cancel the revision symbol command here. I'll also add a note indicating that this is the original design by double clicking in the cell above the description header and add some approval initials as well. Now we can get to making some changes in the 3D model. I'm going to keep the adjustment simple, reducing the driving width dimension in the base feature and also making some changes to the size and position of the headlight mount. That should be plenty to illustrate the function of the revision table. Now I just need to make sure to use the rebuild command in the standard toolbar or use control B to reflect the new changes. At this point I'd recommend repositioning the dimensions if needed as we're going to be attaching symbols to them or placing them near them in just a moment. Now, find the B button on the revision table to add a new revision. This time we want to use the revision symbol command to identify where the changes have been made in this revision. If the tool doesn't appear automatically after making a revision, you can find it in the annotations tab of the command manager. Revision symbols can be placed freely or they can be attached to faces or edges by hovering over them before clicking. If preferred, you can also hold control while placing a balloon to hold it in place while choosing a position for the leader. Revision symbols can be customized after being placed by simply clicking on them and using the property manager to make any adjustments. Once the revision symbols have been placed, their zones will appear in the zones column of the table to quickly find them in the future. Now I'll just add a quick note to the description to indicate the changes and do a final check of the revision custom property, which has automatically been created and also advanced to revision B in accordance with the revision table. If your drawing template includes a title block with a linked revision property, you will also see this change reflected after rebuilding the drawing. Now we're ready to send this drawing off for approval. Now this is just a brief introduction to revision tables, so I'd recommend doing some exploring of your own to gain a better understanding of the tools involved. And also please be aware that many companies use SOLIDWORKS PDM to drive revision tables instead of creating them manually like you've seen here. So this workflow may not be appropriate for everybody. 
Additionally, if you're the one that's typically suggesting revisions instead of performing them, make sure to check out the markup tab that's available in the command manager for some freehand redlining options. Markups can be really useful for suggesting design changes, and they can even be used with SOLIDWORKS eDrawings to communicate with others who don't have access to a license of SOLIDWORKS. The revision table is just one of many data management tools available in SOLIDWORKS that can go a long way to helping you organize your data and communicate your designs more effectively. We hope you got some good use out of this video, and if you did, give it a like and let us know how you're using revision tables in the comments. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel for weekly tech tip videos on everything SOLIDWORKS and easy access to our huge library of existing tips and tricks. Finally, if you're looking to become a true SOLIDWORKS expert, be sure to check out HawkridgeSys.com for more information on the SOLIDWORKS certification program and learn about all of our professional SOLIDWORKS training opportunities. With that, thanks for watching and see you next time.